Hey there, welcome to another video. In this video, we will explore all the settings around Shopify app, where all the settings are, when we created the app, how it works behind the scene, and when we run our app. So let's start. This is the app we created in the previous video, and so far you may have a lot of questions about this. I hope I can answer them in this video. Here's the thing. The app is running inside an iframe, so this is the Shopify store that we have, and this app is hosted somewhere. And the URL that I pasted in the U um, in the browser in the previous video, this URL is the store that we have in here. But the app is running in a Cloudflare uh, tunnel. Let me show you what I mean. This is the app that we have created and we installed in this store. And if you go to the partner account under apps, you can see we have our first app enlisted in here. This is wishlist inspired. This is what we have created with the CLI. And Shopify also gives you an option to create app directly from here. You can directly create the app from here. If you click create app, it gives you an option of going with the CLI again, or you can manually create the app. When you create the app manually, you just give it a name and it gives you an API an API key and API secret and using that API key and secret you can have your own app let's say you want to create app using Python Shopify doesn't have a documentation or a lot of resources around it but it has some API for authentication you can create it manually and connect your app here since we are using CLI we don't have to create the app from here but you can explore those options you can create as many apps as you can and it will all be listed in here this will show the earning once your app go live. This is going to show the API health. If um, you are using an older version, this is going to give you a warning of updating the version. The delivery is like if a webhook fails, it is going to show you the percentage of the webhook fails. For now, let's go to the wishlist inspire app and this is all the details about the app. This is the client ID and this is the secret. Make sure you keep them in a secret place um, so no one can access. If someone have access to this, they can use your app to do anything. So for now, it this is going to be the history of the app where it is installed, currently installed on one store. And you can also select another store. You can say test your app in another store since this is the only store we have. That is where we can test. But I will come back to that in a future video. For now, uh, this is very important. Uh, when your app is ready for production, you can say choose distribution. When you choose a distribution, you cannot change this one in the future. You can either create a custom distribution or a public distribution. Public distribution is where you sell it in Shopify store, but custom one is specific to a few clients. Let's say um, you have a SaaS which is um, running independent of Shopify. You can have an integration with a custom app and the user can install it. Without going to the Shopify store, they can directly have a link to install your app. You can go with the custom integration. For now, we'll go with the public because we are going to publish it in the Shopify store. And you select that. You cannot change this in the future, as I said. Once everything is ready, um, you can just go to uh, distribution and submit your app. These are the checklists that you might have for your store. Create a listing. Creating a listing is where you do that at the end of the, the, the app once you create that. So we are not going to touch that for now. This is where you create your listing for the app store. Uh, let's go to the app setup and a few other options I will show you. This is the important one. This is where you change the name and it should not be more than um, 30 characters. I know this is not enough but Shopify require you to have this and also the name should be unique um, it should not copy someone else this is the email address that you want to use this is the app URL I was talking about this is using the Cloudflare and every time you run the comment of npm or yarn run dev this one will be updated to a new one because this is temporary and uh, every time you create your app again this will change and it's Shopify will create a new one for you and this will run anywhere on the internet. So for example, if I copy this one and open an incognito, people can still use this. So although the, the app is in my local machine. These are other URLs that you might need for the callback, authentication, and also API callback. These are required. We might talk more about this in the future once we create our API, but this is where you update the icon for the app. Um, let's go and and create an, an icon. You, I normally go to flat icon and 
find an icon from here if I search for wishlist probably I find a heart something like this for the shopping I think this is a nice icon and I will download the PNG let's come here and pick the wishlist oh this is too small so you can edit that I'm not going to do that but you can edit the same image to be larger and then you can upload the same thing here next up is the API version that you are using for events for example uh, events are normally webhooks if something happen in the store you can listen for that changes and then react based, react that on your app if I scroll down these are some other um, webhook for privacy policy you some of them are required when you publish your app in the store you have to fill them I will show you at the end of this video series when I have time these are the app proxy and app embed or either it is app embed or not which is very important then you have API access extensions we don't have any extensions versions will show you the version of extensions and inside will show you uh, everything you need to know about your app so for example how is the API held and how is the functions are running uh, running or not and also some other statistics about con um, large content full paint and these scores are very important to Shopify when you create the app make sure your app is running as fast as it can and that way Shopify will give you a reward or a badge of bill for Shopify which is something that we talk in the future but these are important metrics that you have to know about your app and these are all the settings um, that you need to know about the app and you can start creating more app and publish them this is the listing status as a draft once it goes live it will be public and people can start using it currently installed on one store that's it um, in this video I hope I have explained everything you need to know um, if you have any other question you can comment below the video I will try to answer them so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video